What is going on everybody? Thank you for being here today. As you can see, Alfie's leg is looking much, much better. Thanks to all of you who are liking the video for his recovery. So if this video gets at least 25 to 3,000 likes, I think he'll be at 100%. So if you guys wanna drop the video a like, I would really, really appreciate that. But in this video, you all are going to learn what the diet of a millionaire looks like. And I really think everyone is going to learn something from it. There'll be a lot of good insights, a lot of valuable information. So stay tuned and we're gonna jump straight into it here. So rather than me just sitting here talking all day, I thought the best way to do this would be to feature some millionaires so you guys can get a wide range of examples here. So starting with one of my favorite YouTubers on this platform, his name is Graham Stephan. I'm sure many of you are following him already. He's a real, real estate investor. He also invests in the market and does a lot of things um, in that arena. And he is also a daily uploader here on YouTube, which is, which is pretty crazy. He puts out awesome and information and what's really cool about him is he built his wealth from nothing so he bought one property in 2008 and started going from there so what he's most known for on his channel is being a very frugal man regardless of how much money he makes so he is known for building this 97 cent breakfast and I'm gonna show you a little bit of that right now I'm not even exaggerating I actually went and added up the cost of each and every one of these and then prorated how much I use every single day and then added it up the whole thing that I'm about about to show you guys is gonna cost you only 97 cents. And that just goes to show exactly how frugal he is. He is prorating the cost of his cheese. I mean, come on, this guy is making close to $2 million a year, but he is still very, very cost conscious. I think one of the things to mention here though, is that you are not going to save your way to being a millionaire. The reason he has built the amount of wealth he has is because he has invested in himself time and time again. Now, the reason he has remained a millionaire probably has to do a lot with his spending habits. He's not just blowing it on Ferraris and things like that. You should watch the video of how he essentially got a Tesla for free, just being a smart investor. So his 97 cent breakfast is comprised of half a bagel, some deli meat, cheese, and some eggs. He would be very disappointed in me here because I'm gonna be using Vital Farms, which are very, very expensive. So for me, I prioritize this, uh, not like someone like himself, not as concerned with the, the health uh, benefits of getting something like Vital Farms, but that is okay. So let me run you guys through this. Okay, so we're gonna start over here with the two eggs. All we're gonna do is, actually, I think he scrambles these. I think I messed up, guys. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna improvise here. This is real time, guys. This is unpolished, unedited material. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take this fork and I'm just gonna. This is the most uh, probably the worst way to do this. What do you think, buddy? How'd I do? Dad, you did not do very good. Okay. Anyway, so he puts a little bit of lunch meat. All I'm gonna do, I think he just like literally like doesn't even tear it. Just throws it on there. Just something like that. Okay. So then. being trolled right now. Then we are going to put a little bit of the cheese in there, just one serving, just like so. Gotta control those costs. And really, that's it. I think all he does after that is he folds it up, and I'll probably be messing it up once I do this, but just like something like this. Oh yeah, that's not so bad. All right, and then it'll cook through. And we'll keep that on there, grab the bagel. And really, I mean, we're talking like, what, a minute and a half? Breakfast is done, 97 cents, pretty good deal. All right, and then here's the finished product. We have this egg burrito fold up type of thing, and then we have one half of the bagel. He does add cream cheese to his, but you guys know, I'm not about that life, and I'm just trying to save money over here, guys. We're just living the frugal life, so let me give this thing a try. I have to say, that is pretty delicious. And then you take the cost and the convenience into, into account, it's a lot better than going out to buy anything, that's for sure. 
So I have to give it up for Grant for that incredible breakfast, and I definitely love that it's under a dollar. Over the years, I've definitely gotten less frugal when it comes to spending, especially when it comes to food, because that's something that's really important to me. You guys know this is a health and fitness channel, mostly. Uh, so for me, high quality foods are something that I place a lot of importance on, whereas Grant doesn't necessarily care about getting organic, natural, those types of things. But still, I love that he is so economically aware. It's really inspiring and one of the greatest disciplines in my opinion is not buying things even when you can afford them. I think that's where a lot of people really lose it. You see all these athletes, you know, they're making millions of dollars and then they go into bankruptcy, whereas someone like Grant, and there's a lot of other examples out there, they're taking their money and doing things to set themselves up for future wealth, which I think is most important. And he has this really cool part at the end that it goes over the, the numbers, where if you were just to just invest the extra money that you saved, say you spent $5 on your breakfast and you switch to something like this and you invested that, how you could become a millionaire. So I'll let you watch that because it's pretty cool. So let's just say that this entire breakfast right here saves you $5 a day. If you just invested that $5 per day in an S&P 500 index fund within a Roth IRA, getting a 7% return adjusted for inflation with dividends reinvested, that would be worth $1,124,644.56, completely tax-free in a Roth IRA, if you do that consecutively for the next 55 years. Years. Alf, how many snacks would you buy with a million dollars? If Alf had a million dollars, he'd only spend it on snacks. That's it. This dude loves to eat. I wanted to talk about someone who I have a tremendous amount of admiration for, and that is Damon John. He got his start by starting a brand called FUBU, which if you guys are young, you might not remember, but when I was growing up, it was very, very popular. He ended up selling that off, and now he's an investor in a lot of different companies, as I'm sure many of you have seen on Shark Tank, which is a great show with him and Mark Cuban and a lot of other wealthy investors. And he wrote a book called The Power of Broke that I recommend to everyone. That book is fantastic. Fantastic. If you've not read that, please pick it up and get the audible version because he's the one that narrates it, which I think makes it even better. And I was doing a lot of research trying to find some information about his diet just because I look up to him. And he's someone that doesn't have a whole lot of information out there, but he does talk a lot about goal setting. So when I was watching this video, he's going through some different goals he sets, both short-term and long-term. And he makes a very you know straightforward example of one of his short-term goals was instead of, you, instead of eating you know a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, just going for a protein shake. And that doesn't really, you know, that's not revolutionary by any means, but I think it just goes a long way to show that these types of people, these successful people that have made a very good living for themselves, they're very good at just sticking to their goals. So if they say they're going to do something, then they do it. And you guys know, if it comes to protein shakes, I have no problem sticking to that goal. You guys know you can save 15% using TravisAppeaceScience.com. Hey, these guys are making money. I got to do the same as well. But it also ties back into a quote from Mark Zuckerberg when they asked him about his diet and he's like, you know, I don't really think about it too much. I try not to waste time on small decisions. And I thought that was really impactful because, you know, I feel like a lot of people just kind of get stuck with the, you know, the minutia of life and make too big of a deal over smaller things. You don't got to stress yourself out about the things you're putting in your body. Hopefully you're making good decisions. Um, but when it comes down to it, then they probably shouldn't be spending all of your time and all of your effort on it. Check out this fresh new hoodie that my boy Will Tennyson sent me over. I talked about him in last week's video as an awesome, YouTube channel. He's definitely gonna hit 1 million subs somewhere where most fitness YouTubers never hit. But check this thing out. It is awesome and I love his message. Check it out. Read it off for the people, cameraman. Just because girls can't see your heart doesn't mean you shouldn't train it. Do you agree with that, cameraman? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You got to train the heart. Cardiovascular health is very important. So I definitely agree with his message. And I'll actually show you guys what I just got back from. My first time running straight forward, straight through, did not walk at all. Had an 847 pace, which is good for me. 2.87 miles. That run on RunKeeper. I'm pretty impressed. I mean, just, just check that out, guys. That's for me. That is pretty good. So definitely check out Will's YouTube if you're living under a rock and you haven't seen his content. If you like my content, you're going to love love his. I am very excited 
for this next meal. And this time we are following the lead of millionaire and billionaire Bill Gates. Reportedly, if you go to lunch with him, you're only getting one thing and that is a burger. And I'm always going to be happy eating a burger. And I went to a place called Cowfish, which if you guys have been watching the channel, you remember they have the famous burgushi. They're famous for burgers and sushi. Like what an amazing restaurant that is. Oh my gosh. Just look at this beautiful creation. So this is my favorite kind of burger. It's a barbecue bison burger. I can't even get it out. I'll show you guys here in a second, but the thing is stacked. We got some sweet potato fries and then I had to get some sushi. I didn't get the burgushi, even though that's the best thing they have. I was trying to be somewhat reasonable, but let me give you guys a taste test of this real quick. This thing is so big, I don't even know. Look at that. That is one of the largest burgers I've ever had in my life. I can't wait to dig into this. With the brioche bun, you guys know, I've been on an absolute brioche kick lately. That right there, that burger, is like a 9.672 out of 10. Wow, that is fantastic. All right, let me make some customizations here. So one of the kind of the stereotypes I had about people that have a whole lot of money is that they, they're really fancy, you know? They don't just enjoy the simple things, but I think you'll learn as you go through life that not everyone's like that. Like me, I hate country clubs, fancy dining, things like that. So it always kind of freaked me out. But knowing that someone like Bill Gates, just like a normal guy out eating burgers, makes me feel pretty good. I like that. It's gonna be really hard to beat that burger, that's for sure. Give this sushi a try. Top dog. Not the best, not the worst. 7.24 in terms of sushi. The point I'm trying to make is, you might think these millionaires are sitting around all day eating crimpets or whatever at their tea parties with oyster hors d'oeuvres and whatever other fancy foods there are out there, but a lot of people are probably just like Bill Gates and going and getting a burger for lunch. Or maybe even like Graham Stephan and won't even spend the money to go out to eat unless it's a special occasion. They're, at the end of the day, you know, they're just people, regardless of how much money they might have. How long will Alfie wait for a treat? What you got? This is for you. Time is not measured by a watch, but by moments. Man, I'm so touched by that. When all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Did you say you're trying to nail me? Hey, buddy, ready to go on a road trip? No? <laughs> There's gonna be snacks. That's all he cares about. Buddy, buckle up. <laughs> So we were gonna go to Lake Johnson, but uh, it was so busy we couldn't even find a parking spot. So we had to come back home, call an audible. Uh, honestly, Alfie didn't really care because he just likes being in the car. So he thought it was a nice little getaway anyway. I know, I know. So Alfie, he's pretty much a millionaire, so I'll tell you what he's doing. He eats this farmer's dog and he is so obsessed with it. He will literally eat this entire bowl, probably a minute to a minute and a half, even in the slow feeder. And if you guys have little puppies or dogs out there and you want to splurge a little bit, definitely go farmer's dog. This stuff is very high quality. All right, there you go, bud. And if you're wondering, this is what it looks like in the package Alfie's beef recipe. I know, I know, how cute. But anyway, enough about the dog that I talk entirely too much about. I realize dinner is gonna be very different than lunch. It's not going to be a Bill Gates burger. It is going to be based off of the principles and practices that JLo implements into her diet. I mean, she is 50 years old is what I read. It's so hard to believe when you look at her. I mean, she's in phenomenal shape. And really what she does is essentially what a lot of us do that watch the channel. It's clean eating, lean sources of protein, complex carbs and a lot of veggies. And you know I am all about that life. So we are going to revisit a place that I absolutely loved when I lived in Cincinnati, when I moved to Austin, they didn't have one. And now that I lived in Raleigh for like seven, seven or eight months now, and I still haven't been there. It's inexcusable. And that is Tzatziki's. Any of my OGs that remember that place, leave a comment down below. It's one of the best Mediterranean places that I've ever had. It is delicious. So I have secured the bag, but there's only one possible way I am going to be able to eat that in peace with this monster down here. His appetite is just insatiable. So this is how I buy myself a little bit of time. You want the licky? Down. You know where to go. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. 
And then that is the only way you guys are gonna get filmed without any barking. So back in Cincinnati, the only thing I would ever get is their salmon salad, which is phenomenal. But tonight I just wanna be a little bit different. We got the grilled chicken, the Mediterranean salad. I was supposed to get roasted potatoes on the side, but they gave me rice instead, which uh, I guess is fine. And then the tzatziki sauce, that right there, that is money. And then on the side, I got this chicken roll up. These things are just phenomenal. So if you have a tzatziki's close by, I would highly recommend them. I believe they're all throughout the Southeast region in the United States. So first off, let me just give you guys a taste test of this chicken roll up. It's almost like a, almost like a chiquito, kind of a little bit. It has, has grilled chicken and cheese in there. This isn't, I guess, the cleanest thing, but it's still, it's pretty good. Come on, man. Try it out. Come on, come on. Give them a taste test. That's good. Right? Mm -hmm. Would Jayla eat that? No. Why? Okay, fine. She doesn't eat dairy, probably. She eats dairy. Okay, whatever. Jayla doesn't eat this. All right, I'm moving on to the Jayla meal. Do I have a better booty than Jayla? Oh, let's go. I think I do. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, let me get back to what's important here. The grilled chicken with the tzatziki sauce. Mm. No, my own cheese. I remember when we went to the Cincinnati location and uh, that's Mason, Ohio, and we um, ate everything on the menu, Michael and I. That was awesome. You know, I think for the longest time, I just assumed people with a lot of money ate a really healthy diet. It just seems like they're very disciplined in their practice, so they must be disciplined with their food choices as well. When in reality, I met a lot of people with a lot of money, and some of them do stick to the, a very nutritious diet, but some of them, that's just not something they prioritize. It doesn't mean they're not disciplined and they're not dedicated. It's just that area of their life is really not important to them for better or for worse, obviously. I think everyone should worry about their health, but not everyone is like J-Lo and you know, is half-dressed dancing around on stages or whatever it is that she does nowadays. I think everyone just makes their own personal choices and I don't think that you can really stereotype someone based off of what kind of foods they eat given their financial uh, status and life. And little Alfie over here, he wants to tell you guys something. He wants to say that he thanks you all for watching this video and he has already asked me to ask you to like the video, but he's like, hey, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, because like 20% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed, and that's really weird to me, so hit the subscribe, turn on the notifications, we would both very much appreciate that. Last but surely not least, the best looking person that we've talked about all day, the richest, the most famous, of course, are any of those things true? You'll never know. But my diet is consistent of fat and weird cookies every single Sunday. So we have the shorties cake, which I tried out for you guys. Was that last video? I think it was last Sunday's video since I didn't have a Wednesday video. My bad about that. And then the new cookie they just released, which is the super dough, I believe it's called. So two fruity cookies. Am I gonna like them? Probably not as much as the chocolate ones. Like the shorties cake, I really liked it at first. But then I was like, uh, it's like a, it, it kind of went down in my rankings a little bit. But this one, smells nice. So this one is definitely a beautiful cookie. It's like a work of art. Alfie is not gonna be able to contain himself. I'm telling you, dog owners, please let me know. Is this normal? Do, like, does he, do your dogs just never stop eating? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't understand. But anyway, let's get back to this. This is, this is like a fun looking cookie. And you guys know I gotta take a pic for the gram here. If you're not following me already, make sure you do. I'm trying to stop myself out here. Come here, buddy, get in the background, you're cute. <laughs> this is mean, because I'm not gonna give you a bite. Okay, thank you. All right, this is the super dough. It is good. It is good. It's like, I think it's like strawberry and raspberry, raspberry, raspberry lemon. I'm not really sure that's what it tastes like to me. I am just a chocolate fan, so I prefer like, the s'mores cookie they have, the Black Beauty, the Brad, the Party Animal. Alfie, I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it, man. My takeaway point here is, if you like fruity flavors, definitely pick these up. If you're more of a chocolate person, I would say there's some better options, but they release a plethora of flavors every Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Use Travis to save 10%, and they sell out very, very quickly, like within usually like two to three minutes. So you gotta be on there 
ASAP. And that is going to be the end of the video. I want to do something a little bit different. So please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Did you enjoy it? Did you learn something? Do you like videos like this? Please leave your feedback. Any constructive criticism would be greatly appreciated. But I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me that is pretty awesome please give the video a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and i look forward to talking to y'all next time